Alrighty, this lesson is about cloud computing. The cloud, it's all about the cloud. You've heard about the cloud? Yes, you have. Everyone talks about the cloud, and this is what people think. They're like, la, I'm floating in a cloud. I'm just, I'm working on my laptop because I'm floating in a cloud, and I'm so happy, and I'm, um, yay. Okay, that was, sorry, that was really bad, but I mean, that's all I could find about cloud pictures. <laughs> pictures of people working in the cloud. Okay, sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I'll edit that out. That won't. <laughs> anyway, what is cloud computing? All right, guys. Cloud computing is basically, in a nutshell, uh, services provided over a network by a collection of remote servers. Okay, so that sounds great, but what does it actually mean? All right, services provided over a network by a collection of remote servers. Let me try to explain it this way. Working with online applications via one's web browser. Maybe that makes a bit more sense. Well, to me it does. Working with online applications via one's web browser. Let me explain it even more, okay? So you guys really do get this. Here we go. So that's you on the planet, the Earth globe thing, and you are going to be accessing various services online based on servers. Services and servers, there's a lot of servers words in this lesson, okay. But every one of those four big machines, okay, those four big ones, those are servers and they are hosting and providing various services that you, the user, could make use of simply by accessing it through your web browser. So one of them, which you probably are familiar with, is Microsoft Office 365, or you might be a Google person, no shame in that, and you might be using Google Docs, Google Slides, uh, Google whatever else they have, or oh, Azure, Azure is Microsoft's um, services for all kinds of applications and online things. I don't really know a lot about it, sorry. Or iCloud, if you're a Mac person, oh, sorry guys. But there you go. So let's have a look. What does it actually look like when you're using this? Here's some screenshots that I took. All right, what's this first one? Ah, there we go. If this is Google Docs, okay, it's very, very similar to Microsoft Word. Okay, it's great. It's free. It's online. You're using it in your web browser. You don't have to install any software. You don't have to like run anything. It's great. It runs on almost any device you can think of. Here we have Microsoft Word. That's pretty good. That's Microsoft Word in a web browser. Again, no software. I didn't install it. It just it runs live online. Check it out. Word online. Do a Google search. <laughs> a Google search for a Microsoft product. Love it. And here we have another example. A spreadsheet. Okay. This is Google Sheets. Again, you can see it's very similar to Microsoft Excel. Again, just running in your web browser. So using these applications, we're actually doing cloud computing. We're working online with online applications and our web browser is the window it's the tool that we use to do this okay so let's have a look what are some of the advantages of cloud computing i'm sure that you can think of many like right off the top of your head first of all your data your work is accessible from anywhere online anywhere i mean you just need a computer get online your work is there the data can be backed up and easily restored. What's nice about cloud computing and cloud storage is that there's always backups in place. So when you delete something, it still keeps it in like a little special recycle bin, and then you can still restore it. And there are timelines to that or time frames to that, so please be aware of that. You don't have to go and purchase the offline software or the desktop version of that software in order to use the online version. Okay, does that make sense? So I don't have to go and purchase Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office as a whole to use Word Online. Word Online is free. Google Docs Online, it's free. You don't have to buy anything. All right. And what's also nice is that the version of software that you're using online is always up to date. It's always up to date because you don't have to download and install anything or check for updates. It's running on their server. That's pretty cool. However, there are some disadvantages to cloud computing, and you're not going to want to listen to this, but you have to. So complete security is not always guaranteed, guys. You cannot, they, they cannot guarantee that 100% uh, of the time everything is perfectly safe because it isn't, okay? Things can happen. If the hosting server is down, you can't access your work. So if something's wrong with the server online, their, their server where everything's hosted, you can't access your work. If the service provider goes out of business, okay, or everything just goes belly up, okay, uh, you may lose all your data. You might not even get it back. So that's a bit of a problem. And you have to be online, obviously, 
to do the work, you got to be online. Usually, sometimes they do let you work offline, and then when you're back online, it synchronizes. But to get the full, faci- the full facility, the full, faci- oh my word, the full features, the full features, or all the facilities of the data and all your work, you you obviously want to be online all the time. Okay, so that brings us to this, the IoT. Because right, we're talking about cloud computing. So what does IoT mean? IoT, you should know by now, guys. The Internet of Things. Internet of Things. That means what Internet of Things is all about. That objects in the world are uniquely identified and tracked when they are connected to the Internet. So phones. I think I've got a whole list of things here. So cloud computing is extending to not just you working with an application online, it's also extending to the very devices and objects that you might have and work with at home or at work, around the house or on your person at any time if it's connected to the internet. All right, that's part of the internet of things. So guys, the, I don't actually know what I'm trying to say here. 